Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. I have recently put together a salt-powered robot, and I've put together several little science kits lately. So when I found the little Follow Me robot, I was so excited. I knew I had to have him. This one is super cool because not only are you building your own robot, but then your robot will follow sound. It's like the clapper version of a robot. You clap and it'll turn towards the sound. So I'm super excited about that. Um, it's recommended for kids 14 through adulthood, like if you're a big giant kid like me. Um, says tools that you may need for AAA batteries, long nose pliers, a screwdriver, and a diagonal cutter. I don't know what that is. I know what the other two are. Well, we'll try it anyway. So come on in for a closer look. Let's go ahead and put together our own Follow Me robot. Well, let's get started building our own sound detecting robot. First, we'll have to get everything out of the packaging. Oh boy, that's a lot of electrical components. All right, so this important notice says if you're missing parts, don't return it to the retailer. Call the number to get the parts replaced. And this big, thick reading material is all your instructions. All right. So the products you're going to need are pictured here, needle nose pliers, diagonal cutter, screwdriver, and four AAA, sorry, AAA batteries. It's also a part list to show you all the things that you have. And the instructions to start building. So let's go ahead and get started. Step well, step one on this side. Step one.
So I think I got some of my wires crossed just a little bit because my little robot moves away from sound and not to it. But the concept is still there, super cool. Um, the instructions were great, actually. I did not need the diamond cutters or needle nose pliers. All I needed was a Phillip head screwdriver. Um, as long as you watch them real close, the instructions are great. They're very, very step-by-step. -step. If you're watching closely, then you won't have to go back. I had to go back at one point just to add the little, um, little, little neck for the wires to sit in because I didn't notice that, that I was supposed to do that. Um, but like I said, the, everything's kind of very point blank. It shows you exactly where things go. When it comes to the wiring, it shows it by color, so you should be able to follow along. And within about 45 minutes, you should have your very own Follow Me robot that you can show all your friends um, that you built yourself, which is pretty cool. So these steam type toys are going to be so big in 2017. Gosh, they're just huge. Um, I loved this because I felt like it was easy to follow, which is not always the case with some of these build kits, especially when you've got so many components with batteries and wiring and electrical boards, but like this made it, this was dummy proof. I loved it. It was great. So guys, if you want to be here for more top 2017 toys and top steam toys, that's the science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics, um, type of toys. They were STEM, now they're STEAM. Um, but anyway, if you want to be here for those, I'm really focusing on those and a lot of the top 2017 toys because I know they're going to make their way to your kids' wish list. And I want to let you know what's worth your money and what just isn't, um, what's going to sit in the bottom of a toy box, which I hate. I hate doing that. When I buy kids' toys and it sits in the toy box, it's like makes me want to pull my hair out. So trying to help you guys out and save you that headache. <laughs> so make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of our Toy Notes family. That way you don't miss out. And check us out at toynotes.com where I'm keeping it super easy to check out what's going to be on those wish lists by age, genre of toy, you name it, it's there. So check it out. And until next time, bye.